In this video, I want to show you how you can get better at painting by doing some quick studies. Hey guys, David Bilbo here for Paintable coming at you with another video. And today's video, I want to show you how you can make quick studies by focusing on a few things to make sure that you progress faster. And in this video, I will progress on three things, which are shape, texture, and gesture movement. All right, before going into the deep of the subject, the reason why I'm painting a flamingo here is because I was following the weekly challenges of the paintable community. And if you want to participate to those, they are awesome. They change every week. It's just a great way to practice uh, your skills on small subject or uh, topic, like in this case, it was flamingo with the entire paintable community. And it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to put a link of this of this community in the description of this video. If you want to join in, uh, we will uh, start a new challenge every Monday. All right, and with that being said, uh, let's start uh, with this uh, photo study here. Uh, the first thing I'm doing is to paint the basic shapes that I'm seeing. Now, this is a great way to actually start learning how to deconstruct and how to play with the composition of your images. Obviously, when you're doing a photo studies, the composition is already done by the photographer that took that reference picture. But to be able to break things down into basic shapes will actually help you later on to create your own composition from imagination. In this case, what I'm doing is to simply simplify the different shapes and understanding how I could build this image with a few blocks. In this case, the sky, the clouds, the water, uh, even the flamingo can form individual blocks. And with those basic blocks, I'll be able to play with the composition or in this case, just simplify it so that I'm able after that to add some texture uh, to those shapes. Now, although I'm focusing on three things, the second step, uh, if we may, is basically the two other things that I'm uh, focusing on. So adding some texture and playing with the gesture and movement of the shapes uh, happens at the same time. I'm using a texture brush here to add more details without having to add details necessarily manually. But when it comes to uh, painting a gesture, it has to be done with the texture at the same time. And so for this case, I'm using a texture brush and I'm using also the uh, smudge tool and mixer brush tool to add some uh, fluidity and movement and that fade out effect that the clouds will really have when you paint them. Now, I'm not focusing on necessarily adding details here. I'm focusing on the light, the shadows, uh, and that's where I place my textures. Same thing when I'm going to paint the ocean. I'm not trying to paint waves here. I'm trying to paint pieces of lights, pieces of shadow. This is a way to really deconstruct things into simple shapes to really find the essence of what you're looking at instead of the image that you have in your head. As beginner artist, usually we do that mistake to basically know how in our head we see things and then try to paint that instead of painting what we're actually looking at or in this case, a simplified version of what I'm looking at. But the idea here is to really take your time and to observe the gesture that you see into the illustration or um, reference photo, I mean, that you have in front of you. Now, when it comes to the Flamingo, I was also first uh, focusing on the shapes, but I wanted to have the legs in a different position. So I went to see a, another reference and check those legs. And this is just a great example of being able to do a photo reference and then modify it as you want. From there, adding the texture was also a little bit more of a challenge when it comes to the Flamingo because there was a lot of subsurface scattering. Subsurface scattering is when the sun rays enter an object and make them a little bit glow. And you can see that in the feather of this uh, reference picture. And so I think that was probably just the other thing that really gave me something to learn here because subsurface scattering is a phenomenon that you'll see on a lot of things. But at the end, my focus was really on shape, texture, and gesture. And I was really happy with this uh, study that took me uh, anything between 10 and 20 minutes. You don't have to spend so much time on illustration to make it amazing and learn something from it. You can spend just a few minutes. As long as you focus on a few things, you'll learn a lot more this way. 
And uh, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you want to participate in those kind of small challenges, we have them on a weekly basis inside the Paintable community. I'll put a link in the description of this video. If you don't want to miss any other videos, make sure to subscribe. And for the rest, I'll see you in the next video. Happy painting.